Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geek. Today we would be discussing the problem count the number of possible triangles. So here in this problem we are given an integer array ARR and we need to find the number of triangles that can be formed with three different array elements which can act as three sides of the triangle. So when a value would act as three sides of the triangle it is told that three values would act as a triangle when the sum of two values would be greater than the third value. I can simply say that. Okay, fair enough. Now, what can be the other scenarios? Other scenario is the sum of two values. So, this is nothing, but if we just narrow it down, this is A of I plus A of J, which is greater than a of k. So basically we need to find three elements that are existing inside the array and they can form a triangle. Now let us check what are the values. So given the first sample test case 4, 6, 3, 7, 3, 4 and 6 can form a triangle. How? Because 3 and 3 plus 4 is 7 which is greater than 6. Then 4 plus 6, 4, 6 plus 4 plus 6 is equals to 10 which is greater than 7 again can form a triangle then 6 plus 3 is greater than 7 which is 9 so that is why we can form three triangles but 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7 so then it can't really form a triangle so then it is not possible to form a triangle so now we can again see that 21 plus 10 is equals to 31 which is greater than 22 so a triangle can be formed here then 121 is greater than 101. So again, we can form a triangle here. Fair enough. So what is the most basic thing we can do? So we need to find three elements from the array itself, which satisfies this particular equation. So I can simply say that I won't do anything, but I would have three for loops for one for i, one for j and one for k itself and that would solve the purpose for each i we would be finding for each j and for each k so this loop would run big o of n times and for each this loop this would run big o of n times again and this would run big o of n times again so that would be big o of n cube time complexity and the space complexity would be big O of 1 only. Because we are not using any auxiliary space. Only variables are used here. Can we define it more? Let's, let's see. So we are given two variables. So we are given two variables A and B. Which should be greater than C. Okay. So we have an array. And we have something like we need to find all the things that are greater. So I can hint myself that if I think of greater something like greater than this, find elements greater than 5, find elements more than 7 frequently. If I need to do this frequently, what should I do? I should, I can think of sorting an array. So sorting has a time complexity of n log n which is better than our current approach that is n cube. So I can think of sorting at this point. Now, sorting we can think of. Okay, I thought about sorting. Okay. Then what's that? So, can I do something like this? I would select A and I would select B by using I pointers and J pointers. Okay. I would have the sum. Let's say that is A of I plus A of J. I would have the sum. This would form a triangle for all those values for which C is small. So can I say, can I say that if we have the array would be sorted C, C plus. So let's say this is, this should be greater than AB should be greater than this. So I can say that the sum of these two should be greater than this. So what I can do is 
I can find this sum. I can find the location of this sum, which is what this. And all the location afterwards would be a valid pair for C. Siddharth so didn't understand it. Can you explain again? We have values like 4, 6, 3, 7. Then we can sort it like 3, 4, 6 and 7. Okay. As of now, I have two points as 3 plus 4. Okay. Let's say here we have something like 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's say we have that. As of now, our i is here and j is here. Okay. Then, what I can think of is that this value is 7. This value is how much? 7. So, for any value less than 7, like this location of 7 is this. So, now for all the values on this side, they can form a triangle with 3 and 4. Can I say this? Let's have it more. Let's just try to have it more. Let's say at this point, let's understand it a bit more. Let's change this value to let's say 4. Okay. Let's understand it a bit more. Let's change this value to 5. So now we have two pointers that is 5 and 4 at present. So 5 plus 4 is equals to 9. So any values which are less than 9 can form a triangle with these all 5 and 4 like 5, 4, 6, 5, 4, 7, 5, 4, 8. I can say this or not 5, 4, 8, 5, 4, 7, 5, 4, 6. I can say this. This would all solve my serve my purpose itself. Okay. So now my question is how can I find the location of this one? So finding the location of this one, the first occurrence of this one can be done by something using lower bound. Why? Because it might be a scenario that you are just using simple binary search and there is 9, 9 and you are pointing this 9. Then you would be, your code would also count with this 9 only. Like before that everything you would count, na? like this is what, let's say this is K and this is I and J. So K minus J would count everything. That is why you want the first occurrence of it. And this array is sorted. So searching an element was binary search. Then you want the first occurrence of it which tells me something known as lower bound of this. So now for i, I would have big O of n. For j, I would have again big O of n. But to find all the pairs of i, I would for finding k, I would have log n. So that would be nothing but n cross n cross log n that is n square log n and again we are simply doing an in place sorting algorithm so the time complexity so the space complexity would be one if we don't consider the given array as we are not using any auxiliary space and we are not keeping it anywhere else only variables so that this is looking fine. I am able to refine the last part. But can I refine it more Siddharth? Can I refine this more? Let's see this. So at this point I got the hint that we have a sorted array. Because still the time complexity is much more than n log n. So sorting would always be a better choice for this. If we are considering optimization, we can think of like, yes, let's keep this sorted. Things would be a little bit simpler to understand. At the end, if you think that you can optimize it further than then you can just remove the sorting part and sorting is not required. Okay. So I kept this sorted part. And now again writing the equation A plus B is greater than C. I need to find this. So I found out that this is just like find an element. So I found out one element by using the idea of binary search. Basically you can say it lower bound but overall it is a binary search only. So the last part that is C part finding the element I solved it using binary search. So A in we have three we had 
to have three variables and we were able to cross out C. And if you observe, I can also rephrase this part. Find pairs whose sum is greater than C. Can I say that? Can I say that? I can say that. No? Find pairs whose sum is greater than 3. So finding pairs, just like we learned count the number of pairs. That was done on a sorted array, two pointers. Just like even though if you have not read that question, that's absolutely fine. We have a sorted array and we need to find pairs. In sorted array, if you are trying to find pairs, that means you want two pointers of it. So I would simply give you a brief overview. So let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the value to be found out is 5 itself. So we would keep two pointers on the extremes and then this value is how much? Let's say the target element we want to find is 5. So at this point 5 plus 1 is 6. So we know that 6 is greater than 5. So we need to decrement it. So we would come at this point and this is how you would get. This is the idea basically. So if the sum is more, if the sum is more and we will need to decrease it, we decrease it by this side. If the sum is less, we increase it by this side and we would reach the point where that would be the value. Okay, fair enough. But here the problem statement is different. We don't need to find the pairs whose sum is equal to x. We need to find the pairs whose sum is greater than c. Okay. We know algorithm where we can find the pairs whose sum is great whose sum is equal to C. But here what is greater than C? Okay. So I would make you understand and I would build the intuition from you. Let's see if you can build it from yourself or not. So let's say I have the values at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And then I have A and then I have this. Let's add this point. Just this. Very simple. 1, 2, 3, 4 array. This is the left. This is the left pointer. This is the right pointer. So how many pairs would be there at this point of time whose sum would be greater than 5? Greater than 5. Do I need to iterate or I can find out something like that? So now, do I really need to have this R visit or L visit? Do I really need to do that? So I need all the pairs which are greater than 5. What can I do? So can I say that this L and this R, okay, that this L and this R is equal to 5. So what are the values which would be greater than that? So if this L walks over here, then also this value would be greater than 5. If this L walks over here, then also these two values would be greater than 5. So I can simply say, I can simply say that R 0, 1, 2, 3. I can simply say R minus well would be the number of pairs which would be greater than 5, greater than equal to 5. Sorry. So that confirms me over here. Okay. So I can find the number of pairs whose sum is greater than x. And I would use the same thing. I would have one pointer fixed for C and then have two pointers rotating. And now I need to only find out two values whose sum is greater than C. So whenever we hit the point that left plus right is greater than A of I, we would simply do what? We would simply do res plus is equals to right minus left and then we would move forward as we were moving in two pointers good so now let us see this in action so now what we can do is we can simply sort out the given array so that would make it three four six and seven why because two pointers only works on sorted array this would be doing this then as we know that we need to count three points then there is no point in just sitting at the first point itself and trying to find other two points before it. There won't be two points before it. Second, no, no point. So that is why we are starting off 
from the third element itself. So we are starting off with the third element that is 6. Okay. Now we have two extremes left and right. Now we are hitting left and right that is 0. So the indices would be 0, 1, 2, 3. That is why we are starting off from 2. Fair enough. Then we can simply say this is the point 3 plus 4 is greater than the given C. That is C. Okay. This is C itself. So this is greater than C. So right minus left that is 1 minus 0 is equals to 1. So we can say that we would have one pair at this point. So now this rest would become one. And this right would move front. Now this left is not less than equal to right. So it would terminate. Next we would go to the next seven. Again two pointers. We would extreme that is six and three. It is greater. So how many points do I have? Two minus zero that is two. So now Again I would do that, again I would move forward and then again I would do that. So this is how I would return the rest and that would solve the purpose. Now let us see if this code is working or not. Now let us check if the approach that we discussed here works or not. Let us just compile and run and see. Okay, seems good for the sample test case. And yes, we got an AC. So that was it from my side. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye everyone.